What's up guys, Go to Pete here, and I'm bringing you a grenade tutorial video for DE Mirage in CSGO. Um, I'm basically just going to show you the basic smokes for A, a few smokes for B, some mid smokes, and then the main reason I'm doing this video is because of some of the smokes I've found which you can throw from B apps all the way to A for a fake or whatever you want to use them for. Um, so I'll talk you through those when I get to them. We'll start off with the basic A smokes. Uh, for all of these, when you're jumping while throwing, you'll want a jump script. Um, so you can just look that up on YouTube or actually I'll do a separate video for how to set that up. But um, First of all, you want to smoke off CT, so the first thing you do is you aim at the end of that wooden thing there, you aim at it, then you just jump for Laying it. Down smoke. That will smoke off CT. Next one you want to do is smoke off stairs from here. So this one you don't need to jump for, you just line up in line with the edge of that ledge and the bottom of the plank. And it's Throwing right. smoke. And it doesn't look like it's very consistent while it's landing, but you'd be surprised how consistent it actually is. Uh, the next throw is here we go. The uh, jungle connector smoke. So all you want to do is you line up in line with this the side of this ledge here, and to the top of this uh, pillar. Smoke. Right, pile off, bounce twice, and then it's very consistent. These ones. So I'll just run through them all quickly again. So you start with CT. Aim at that. Jump. Laying down smoke. And jump up onto this. Line up in the middle of it. Throwing smoke. And jump along to this one. Aim up like this. And uh, throw. smoke. So now you got the whole of a side smoke up. And all you need to worry about once you've done that is someone possibly being on top of ticket booth. And then under wood, on top of wood. Sort of anywhere on the site, really. And if there might be... Someone might have jumped down the stairs into a sandwich, so you just want to mark Throwing that. fire! And the guy will have to come running out. Okay. So that's all the smokes for A. Um, a couple of flashes you might want to use as you push out is just... When you're entering, the second one's really useful. So the first one is Deploying this. Flashbang. And this is the useful one for when they're rushing. Is flashbang. Just, you throw it like that. It blows up here, so anyone under wood gets flashed. And if they're rushing you, they're all going to be blind as you peek out with your AK or all. And you can just get a couple of picks. So those are some useful flashes from there. In the palace there's a few. If you line up with this crack here, for both of them. And then the end of this crack right here. So you've got a line down there and then the crack going along there, up to there. You aim at the end of that crack. First one you just Throwing throw. Flashbang. Next one you run Deploying through. Flashbang. So the first one flashes up here. Next one goes down here, flashing anyone underwood. So yeah, there's those are some useful flashes as well for it. Um, so now we'll go for the mid smokes. First mid smoke, really basic. You line up with this window, this uh, window, yeah. Then you go up from the cross, in line with the top of that antenna, and you run forwards and throw just before you hit the fence. So. Throwing smoke! Really simple one. 
you really ought to know this. It's not a one-way smoke anywhere on it. Um, but you can't peek mid when you're throwing that, because it'll take way too long, so you you throw it for someone else. That's the point of it. So then there's a basic smoke for connector, I know. It's a jump throw. It lands on the first step, so it's really useless. It's really bad. Laying down smoke. I have, don't know any that land on the highest step. But practically all the smokes you throw in the connector won't work, because you can land one. Even if you land one here. Smoke! Right at the top, you can still jump on this box, see over it. Or go around it. It's uh, because of the new s the smoke update they did a while back. That now does that. Um, so the next thing you want to know is the short smoke. Which you line up from the left side of this into the line of that. Then you throw. smoke! And that should perfectly smoke the short. So you'll no way to see around it. Um, if you get stuck top mid and uh, the window smoke get disappears and there's an open window, then you can just line this up. Smoke! Throw. And it'll smoke off window. Pop smoke, no, no. One way smoke parts of it. So you can, the guy can see down into one pass there, but he can't see top mid from either side. So that's a really good mid smoke. Uh, of course with a connector all you need to do is just peek it, make sure no one's there. And once you've done that, for a Laying better down smoke, smoke. You just throw one like that, it'll land on the highest step. So yeah. Um, I think the best way to flash out mid is to just line up with this. Throwing flashback. Oh, one up there. That'll flash there. Or possibly an even better one is you just line up here. Flashback. That'll flash there. So those are two flashes to flash out mid. Uh, those are flashes that you want to flash someone else out with, sort of, just before they peek. So if you even throw them in there, behind them, and they'll be able to peek out with it. Then it'll be much easier. Um, so yeah, those are, are all the nades for mid. Now for B apps, there's one main one I know, main smoke I know, which is the only one I really use. Which is you line up with this pillar, the middle one, then you line up in line with the left side of the window to the bottom of that ledge. And you smoke! Can, and that'll smoke off the bench. So it means you don't have to worry about when you're pushing out. You can have one guy who comes up here and just looks along here trying to get him if he's there. And the other guys don't need to worry as much about bench, they can push out, concentrating on short. Making sure there's no one there. Exaggerate. And, um, yeah. Then the, as they move along here, they can concentrate on bench. It's just an easier way of doing it. And then as you push out, never hurts to um, throw a smoke along to that ledge so that any jump scouter or orpa there is just smoked off and you can push up looking out the windows rather than having to also worry about along here and anyone who could spray you all down. The basic smoke for this is you line up the edge of this wall with the side of the door and you aim at the uh, top of the this pillar. Run forward. Deploying right. flashback. That'll just jump out that window. You ought to practice this one and get it consistent. Because I don't have it very consistent, but uh, flashbang. It's a useful flash. It'll flash someone down here, waiting for you to push. And then you can also just flash over this because there's no sky. Drawing flashbang. Flashbang. 
flash over. Now for the interesting part of the video. Um, these are the fake smokes from here to be. Now one of these I have to say the CT one because when you're doing this you want at least one person faking A just to make sure they know okay well there's flashes coming over as well so it's almost certain to be an, uh, an A push because you've got three smokes down then you throw Deploying two flashback. flashes over and like, just throw them all away and then they'll be like oh god it's definitely an A push Especially if you've done it before, where you just smoked off everything and did it that way. But this time you'll have three or four guys in B apps waiting to put for the rotate to push B. So, um, which one should we start with? The first one is the jungles connect to smoke. So what you do is you line up with this wall here, and you walk forwards until you're in line with this little dot here when you're looking directly down and when you're in line with that there's these two black dots up here you line up with the bottom left one then pull down until you're in line with the bottom of this wooden plank and then from there you just jump around Throwing smoke. And that'll go across bounce once bounce twice go down and strike off jungle connection really nice smoke there. But, um, it's a really good fake one as well. Because unless they're really paying attention, they're not going to notice that you've thrown it from up here. Um, the next one is the stair smoke. So what you do is you have that sort of auto-sniper looking smudge here. Kind of looks like a G3 to me. Or I might just be weird. And then you, uh, aim to the left of it until you're in line with the middle of this smudge there um, and then you just there you go then you just jump throw laying down smoke and it's not a perfect stir smoke but it's a pretty good one considering where you throw it from so the last smoke is the CT smoke. Now this is really inconsistent and I advise what you do is you have the guy who's faking throw this smoke so that you have it more consistently and they don't think, hang on, that's not good smoke, what, what's up with that? But basically the way I've managed to find this one is there's this black dot there and you aim down from that in line to the top of this window then you walk forwards, and when your crosshair reaches in line with that, the line across there, once you're in line with that, you jump throw. And I bet that this won't actually hit the spot I'm aiming it for, but uh, we'll have a go anyway. So you walk forwards, jump Smoke. throw. Oh, it actually did. Um, so that's what will happen if you get it right and you've practiced it a ton. If you get it right, it's pretty good. Because they probably won't expect anything's up. I really, cause, uh, if anyone's here, it would be an AWPA. Looking along here, he'd see the smoke come in like that. He probably wouldn't guess that the angle was wrong. And, uh, yeah. So that's all smoke's for. For, um, from B apps to A. Uh, if you liked the video and wanted to see more, like and subscribe and leave any comments helping to improve the of how to improve the videos on there. So yeah, that was the grenade tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.